Not gonna lie, this is gonna be a little bit later than I in, like anticipated because I wanted to play through the new stuff on my main account and oh my god. There is so much, so much to do and it is super cool. You get really cool gear and really cool stuff. You should have the scrap shot and you should be coming back to this location so you can progress. Find the blacksmith, it's pretty simple. You just come through here where you broke the boxes. Make sure you pick up duct tape. You're gonna need it. Fight your way through this facility. Right here, you're gonna find blacksmithing gloves. That'll help you unlock a recipe as well as a welder's mask, which is gonna be better uh, than the peccary helmet if you made that. So you can go ahead and switch that out and just either dump it or if you really want to hold on to it to dismantle it, you can. Up to you. So if you're completely lost and you're like, where on earth am I going? There's a button that will open the shutters and the blacksmith is over here. Alright, you're gonna notice ah. the big doors in the way. To where you need to go. And you can't get through because you need the class 2 clearance, right? You'll notice you can't use this either because you need fiber optic cables. So you come over here and you break down one of these so you can get through. Say hi to the My weird friend, scientist. This is Alright, once you talk to crazy guy you can pick up a pickaxe and yes we're still swinging very slow because our strength is not... That's a bug. Our strength isn't up to par to be able to use it but it's still going to be the hardest hitting thing for us right now. Okay, so... You can find these all over the place, but there's two over here, and if you come up the ladder, there's one here. You need these so you can make a bunch of the stuff that you need to progress. Also, if you do want to make the armor set that you have unlocked for Forge, you're going to need a vest. So there's one here if you find this area here. Kind of a reference if you come across here. This is where one of the steel cables ladder you just come up and around. You can come in here and there's gonna be one right here for you. I know I missed it on my first playthrough. Don't forget that you can do bench upgrades and there's some very good ones in here uh, like healing you when you're near it or the best one in my opinion is allowing the bench to automatically access nearby containers for crafting so you don't have to go and pick them up okay so uh, at this point you should be able to make the enhancement bench just kind of follow the instructions on how to make it you have to kill more robots just do the same strategy you can upgrade some stuff, put a flashlight on the pistol, upgrade your screwdriver to the hand drill. Um, what else can you do right now? That may be it. But go ahead and do that stuff and just farm materials for right now. But yeah, I would try to get at least two pieces of the forge armor set so that bullets will sometimes bounce off your armor because bullets are probably going to be your biggest threat right now not going to be so much the, the little alien dudes anymore they're not really going to do much damage to you anymore uh, because of the armor being higher level also i kind of forgot to mention at some point come back to the blacksmith and analyze the smolder you're going to need that Okay, so at this point, you should have enough materials to make your upgrade to the keypad hacker. If you don't have these materials, military electronics drop from the military guys. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Most of the time they do though, so don't worry. Just kill a bunch of military guys until you get enough. The reinforced hose. If you see this little symbol, you can click on it. To take you to where you need to make the item 
otherwise you have to find these items. Hoses are going to be all over the place just like steel cables are in that one area that I showed you. You can also get hose from uh, fire hydrant uh, or fire extinguisher is what they call it. If you break it down you'll get all these pieces here if you just take it over to the repair and salvage. Also, you don't need to make another keypad hacker. Don't accidentally do that. Take it out of your inventory. For some reason, that still hasn't been fixed. Okay, don't be mad at me. I could have swore you got a better backpack upgrade sooner than this, but uh, follow me if you want a backpack. It's not a huge upgrade, but you might as well grab it. If you're using the basic backpack, you'll have three extra slots, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I could have swore you got a better backpack upgrade before getting this one. Okay, so you come to this cubicle and off to the left, there's a little scaffolding. And you come down the ladder. And then when you get in here, this is going to be the backpack. Hold the security backpack. If you're at the point where you have made your keypad hacker and you're wanting to progress, don't forget to take your scrap shot with you. And remember that you need to take about 17, let's say. Would be a good number where you need to make that scrap metal into a box of screws so you can then make that into scrap shot ammo. Okay, once you make the trim access key, you're gonna go through the portal and you're looking for silver scrap when you go through this and you wanna go through this probably two times. Wait for it to reset and go through it again. You're gonna need a lot of it. If you take the trim back, you can unlock it so you can get back to this location way faster. Just so make sure you take the trim. So the pieces you're looking for specifically are silver scrap. It's just any silver where would be silver scrap. Really the only places are going to be here and here from what I've noticed unless they put more spawns. You take the silver scrap Add it to a pot of water and then put metal scrap in there with it and then let it cook. Okay, once you have your solder and you come to the blacksmith and trade your solder for fiber optic cable, one of them is going to require an optical lens. You can get the optical lens from trading with the blacksmith. And the diode you can also get from the blacksmith when you trade in axle grease. Axle grease you will get from the train uh, teleporter world. So in order to get your optical lens, you need to craft a reinforced hose, which requires a hose, screws, and steel cable. Also, I feel like an idiot. This must be new. You can come to the train on the map and it'll tell you all this now. I don't think it said this before. If it did, I completely overlooked it. So I apologize if I am giving you useless information. When you get to this point, you see this, make sure that you walk up to this and analyze it. So if you're here and you want to explore before you do anything, you're probably over encumbered like I am. And if you want to get back to the cafeteria, Janet, wait for me. you just keep going down this way. Your next best weapon is going to come from killing the pests that have the little enhancements done to them. They drop the capacitor and it's going to give you the electro thrower. And this is going to be extremely, extremely good for a very long time. So if you have made the grab shot, you're using the pistol and the welding spear, you should be able to kill robots by yourself now. Aim for the eyeball and the backpack area. It's going to be his weak spot. Uh, and you're going to need quite a few of these. I don't remember exactly how many, but... 
In case you didn't know, you can sit in a chair if you're about to fall asleep and you will get up to something like 30%. It's nothing crazy, but it will help you not fall asleep. Okay, so you're going through here and you're fighting your way through. There's a bunch of materials in the labs that you're gonna need if you don't have the um, your 3 to your keypad hacker. You should kind of put two and two together. The things in the fancy box there, you, you need that. Well, you may feel like it's taking forever for you to get certain materials. For example, you're going to need a lot of antiverse gems for a bunch of different stuff. Instead of going around trying to find it, if you find the elevator in the lab, and then you come up and over, there is a trading where you can dump the wheat antiverse wheat into it and you will get the gems essentially like an infinite amount by doing it that way don't mind him uh make sure you look to your right and get the shotgun because shotgun pretty good if for some reason you miss the big blue blue glowing room here go get the cube hold the cube this is probably one of the best items in the game. And it's gonna let you uh, float across easier. Alright, and then after you work your way through all of that, you'll get to here. And you have multiple different rooms. That's where you need to go though. You can open up this door over here, but immediately turn around and go back through there. Alright, once you finish the world, you'll get to the top, and you can go through the teleporter, it's gonna put you here, you need to come over here, you cannot just hack the door, you have to come over here and put four of the, I don't even know how to pronounce this, li liac, li liac essence, you need four of them. Basically, you come over here, inspect this so you can get the portable x-ray lamp. Once you can make that, it's gonna be used so that you can shine it onto this guy here. When you shine it on him, he will drop the essence. You need to do that four times. Trust me, he is very annoying. You'll get plenty. So basically, from here until you get your four essence, you're just gonna farm other materials. Trust me, this will save you time in the future from having to go back and do more farming. So just farm, wait for him to come and try to attack you, shine the light on him, get your four essence.